Delegations from ASEAN member states, the ASEAN Secretariat, and dialogue countries are currently meeting in Long Pabang province to discuss energy cooperation and integration. This 32nd Senior Officials on Energy meeting will run for five days from June 6 to 13 after being opened by Deputy Minister of Energy and Mines, Vilapun Virawong, in the presence of Luang Pabang Provincial Deputy Governor, Dr. Bua Gong Namawong. The meeting will examine various issues in the lead-up to the 32nd ASEAN Ministers on Energy meeting set to take place in Vientiane in September. Across countries and across borders, in an to connect the regional power grid, transmission lines are pipelines. In his remark, Deputy Minister of Energy and Mines, Vilapun Virabong, said, at the ministerial meeting in September, the participating delegates will follow up on the ASEAN Action Plan for Energy Cooperation, which aims to secure energy security and sustainability in the ASEAN region. According to him, it will be also provide a chance for officials of ASEAN countries and dialogue partners to meet and explore ways to accelerate cooperation in the energy sector and energy integration for ASEAN prosperity. I believe that what we do here this week will enable us to strengthen the bonds of friendship and cooperation. According to Vilapun Viravong, ASEAN is one of the world's fastest growing economic regions and with the rapid economic growth comes an urgent need to meet the growing demand for energy. In other parts of the world, however, economic uncertainty has created some volatility in energy markets. To cope with this and to reduce independence on oil imports and other fuels, we must promote energy efficiency, conservation and develop renewable energy sources. Villa Pun Viravong called for greater cooperation and integration in the region and also renewed efforts to improve energy efficiency. He said countries with abundant natural resources can generate income from surplus energy exports while countries with high energy demand can meet energy shortfalls with imports from neighboring countries at a reasonable cost. Furthermore, Energy interdependence would promote sustainable long-term trade amongst ASEAN countries, improving the relationship between partner countries, decreasing risk and improving the investment climate. Virapun Virawong said, We can interconnect power systems to provide cheaper electricity, ensure the sustainability of energy resources and promote energy efficiency, enabling this region to be more competitive in the world market. Laos already has more than 20 high-voltage transmission lines connecting the Lao grid to Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and China, and Laos has been doing this for years, and we expect to increase connectivity with our immediate neighbors in the year ahead. During this week's meeting, the participants will discuss various technical and logistical issues in relation to cooperation in the energy field. Two, three.